it's been like for you so far? It's really cool. I mean, first Dev Camp with a great organization. It's fun to see a bunch of the guys that I already knew coming in and meeting a bunch of other um, Sabre prospects. It's been really cool. Really good people in this organization. So it's been a it's been a really good few days. Yeah, for sure. I'm on, I'm on the ice with Ports every day, so um, we sit right next to each other in the room. He's a good kid, and um, we're getting along well. You know, Lush, you know, since the trade went down, you've had to slowly sort of learn more about this organization and meet people. What are the experiences, particularly like in Boston, whether it be the Frozen Four or coming to this, the morning skate late in the season? What did that really show you about this? I mean, it showed me a lot. Like, I've talked to Kevin Adams a bunch of times, and uh, I sat with him in the stands for morning skate and during some of the games, and he's a really good guy. Um, really cares a lot about the organization, and um, he's really smart. He's taken a, a really good um, direction with the team and building a, a really good culture around it. And um, he tells me all the time how um, he wants good people, and um, it's it's really cool like to see how how good of a person he is. Usually, like as a kid, you you see like all these transactions and it's a business, and everyone tells you it's a business, but he really makes it seem like it's a home, and um, it's re it's really comfortable and. Um, they, they make it feel like super friendly, so it's been great. It's been uh, it's been really cool to be around the guys and be around the coaching staff. What kind of resources has been for you? Oh, he's he's been awesome. I talk to him every week during the season, um, just keeping up to date, giving me tips, um, kind of helping me um, transform my game, become more of a pro. Um, and he works with my goalie coach back in Northeastern, Mike Condon, and we're kind of like a, a three-person triangle working and developing and getting better. So. Um, it's been really good. He's called the goalie development guy for a reason. He's doing a really good job at it. Yeah, well, why was it important to you to go back to school? Yeah, I mean, as a goalie, there's definitely no rush. Um, I've kind of taken the slower path my whole life where, um, you know, I was a late bloomer. I, I played three years of midget. I went to play in a lower level junior hockey league, and it's, it's, it's worked for me. I just focus on my development and on getting better every day, and I've never really chased the highest level. I've kind of just let it come. When, when, it, when the time's right, it'll come. So um, I'm just waiting for that. And, um, you know, I feel really good and I'm confident in my abilities to be able to play, but I don't think it'll, it'll be bad to go back to college one more year, get better, come back even more ready. You went through the World Junior, you went through a great season. What's it going to be like now? Every time someone plays Northeastern, you're the guy they know. You've got to try to score on Devin Levi. That pressure and that target's going to be It'll be fun, and that's also one of the reasons I wanted to go back because it's it's an additional challenge that you're going to face at the pro level for sure. You play so many seasons, and coming off a good season, how are you going to do it again? That's always that's the question, and a lot of people have a hard time with that. It's easy to get caught up in, um, you know, thinking you're you're the best and you came off a really good season and trying to manage the expectations. So I'm really looking forward to to going into that challenge and really managing it, learning how to do it. I've I've done it in the past with staying a third year in, in mid AAA and that was my hardest year of hockey honestly even though I was playing the same same level for three years so I learned a lot that year and I think it's going to be a really good development year a really good mental battle and uh, I think I'm going to be one more step ready for to come in next year. How made that third year a challenge? That, that was the challenging year. Yeah, so it was it was the it was the expectations learning how to manage expectations. I was a bit younger and I came off a good season my second year so. It's how are you can do it again, right? So I, I struggled a little bit at first um, trying to manage it. And, you know, it's like you put so much pressure on yourself to be able to do it again. But this year going in, I'm, I'm going to treat it like it's, it was last year. I still have a lot to prove. Um, I definitely think I have more to give. So um, I'm going in like under, as an underdog. And uh, I want to get better. I want to do better. And obviously being mindful of not putting too much pressure on myself where I have to carry the whole team. It's still a team game. And, to work with my teammates to to kind of do well and try to win this year. How are you an extra midget year? Maybe why you were only a seventh round pick? Because you've proven with the two teams you had playing in Northeastern, you should have been higher. Okay. You think maybe doing that extra midget year was the reason why? Thank you. And yeah, it, it could have been for sure. You know, I, I played um, my two years before draft year in, in leagues that weren't very known or very well scouted by NHL scouts. So. Um, that could have been a reason for sure. Um, not many people knew who I was, and I wasn't really worried. I always believed in myself that I'd figure out, find a way to, to get there, and I kind of just took the patient route. I wasn't worried, and I just focused on my development. And at the end of the day, if, if you're good enough to play, you're going to find a way. So that's kind of how I approached it. How are you spending your offseason, and what's your focus just getting ready for the year? 
Yeah, so um, I've been in Montreal most of my off season. I, uh, a week before, la so last week I went out to British Columbia with uh, Dylan Grand. He was my goalie partner at the World Juniors, and um, we we did like a, a week of skating there, and uh, we push each other pretty hard, and we, we get better when we skate together. So I wanted to get the competitive juices flowing before I came here. So um, I did that, and rest of summer gonna go back to Montreal and work with my goalie coach Marco Raimondo and my off ice my my off ice trainer Don White and uh, continue getting better on the ice, off the ice, and um, just going into the next season looking forward to have some fun. I know, you, I know you're you in the middle of your season, but what was it like watching from afar what the Sabres were able to do the last few months of the season when they had a lot of young guys in the lineup that when you know, your time comes, the you know, teammates would? Yeah, it was really cool. It just goes to show like what Kevin Adams is doing with the team, and it's working. you got a lot of good young guys that are good people, and I was talking to a bunch of them, and they said it was it was the most fun they've had playing hockey, like, as an organization in a long time. So um, it really goes to show like how this approach is, is working and it'll definitely work the next few years. And um, Kevin said in, in our in our, in our our little meeting before DevCamp that we're looking to win a Stanley Cup. And um, I think that the organization is on its way. It's really impressive. What was the Olympics like for you? I mean, you didn't get a chance to play and I imagine you're probably disappointed by that. But what was Olympics experience like? It was really, really cool. It was probably one of the best times of my life. Um, obviously, I didn't get a chance to play. And, um, it was unfortunate, but you know I stayed positive and I, I took the experience for what it was. At the end of the day, you're an Olympian and you only get to live that maybe once in your life. So I made sure I really enjoyed it and it was so fun. The guys were unbelievable competing with them. You were with such great people and the best athletes in the world. So with so much greatness around you, you find a way to get better. And um, it, was, it was unbelievable. I, I got way better also from practicing with those guys for, for those three weeks. And I came back to Northeastern and I felt great. Yeah, me, Kent, and Owen were um, were buddies. We were really close when we were there. Mason McTavish and Jack McBain also. So us five, we were like the young guys there, and we got to know each other pretty well. I got to know Owen. Um, he's a goalie mind. He loves. Uh, I have I have like virtual reality goggles. It's uh it's like to play goaltending. It's like practicing, and he always threw them on and wanted to give it a go. So um, yeah, he's he's like a goalie also. So we get along pretty well. Not really, honestly. I'm just focusing on myself, and I know if I if I do my job and I do it to the best of my abilities, and um, I'm the best version of myself, I know I'm I'm gonna play. So um, I'm just focusing on that, and you know, there's always gonna be distractions and a guy on your ass. Sorry, I can't say <laughs> a guy behind you, a guy ahead of you that um, you're gonna want to fight, and so you just gotta focus on yourself. And at the end of the day, if you're playing your best hockey, things will work out for you. So kind of just a little bit of tunnel vision there. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no there's no like uh, negative energy at all. It's just friendly competition, and we both want to get better. And at the end of the day, I want what's best for the organization too. So I, I definitely think that's a good idea to have depth in all positions. So, were yeah. You, were you sympathetic to him not having his gear? Yesterday? Yeah, man, that was a hard practice yesterday. I can't imagine doing it in someone else's gear. So kudos to him. Were either one of you uh, extremely winded and maybe? Bordering on sick the way yesterday unfolded. Yeah, that was definitely a challenge, but you know it's uh, it's a good challenge for sure. It's trying to stay positive, taking it as a mental battle, and enjoying it. At the end of the day, there's no other place I'd rather be than here right now. So I just took it for what it was and had fun.